Uh, but we're going through this shift now between conventional uh, distribution to maybe direct to consumer. Uh, you've got a lot going on in the industry right now. MLB, it's very public that they're bidding on RSNs. What's, what's your perspective on what the RSN market's gonna look like in a couple of years? And would you be interested in being an investor in, a, in an RSN network? The, the answer to that is it's a challenge. You know, I had read somewhere that baseball was focused on trying to more closely emulate the NFL model. Uh, but the NFL is different in terms of national TV because basically they play one day a week yeah. and limited number of games. We have 1,271 regular season games. Baseball but has twice that because they play uh, 162 games. I'm not sure that you can force feed the national channels. Now having said that, without a market distribution, with digital platforms, with the possibility that an Amazon or an Apple or a Netflix or, uh, may get into the business, uh, the opportunities are unlimited. The regional sports business, I think, for the short term, particularly for the long term, is a little trickier because if you own a regional sports channel, your two biggest challenges are your rights fees, and we like high rights fees, obviously, and secondly, carriage. And, you know, Fox had enough uh, tonnage across a lot of platforms that they could always make sure that they got carriage. Uh, as a standalone, I'm not sure how well that'll work, but if we get offered the opportunity to participate, we'll at least take a look at it.